We've got to find the way to you. Uh, where are you traveling from? Denmark. On the motorcycle? Yes. You did 15 hours on the motorcycle? No, actually, I'm, I'm going to Alaska. <laughs> are you? Yes. It's, uh, Is that on motorcycle? On the motorcycle. Sin City going to be becoming halal city soon, inshallah. Wow, right on two, man. It's the nur of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that have been bestowed upon us. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the masjid. Masjid al tawheed MashaAllah, he's got the beard and everything. <laughs> Better call Nakuwe. 28 years of marriage, man. MashaAllah. Do you marry? Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh, brothers and sisters. Sabal Khair from beautiful, sunny Las Vegas. Check this out. Inshallah. Today is a great day. We're gonna to go to the Masajid here in Las Vegas. And uh, we have a special brother, brother Rokai Yusuf Zai, he's gonna show us around, inshallah. So let's get moving. SubhanAllah, lana hadha wa ma kunna lahu mukrinina wa inna ilo rabbina lamun kalimun. All right, brothers and sisters. Welcome to Vegas. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, brothers and sisters. Today, we're gonna check out the beautiful massages of this, of this Sin City. Sin City gonna be becoming halal city soon, inshallah. Sin City gonna be good deed city, inshallah. <laughs> In this city, inshallah, because this lion is right here. Man, don't you just love this about Vegas, the palm trees, mashallah, and you got the mountains right here, and they are so beautiful. The masjid is less than 10 minutes away. Can't wait. Let's go. 70 degrees in this beautiful sunny day here in Vegas, and mashallah, tabarakallah, Allahu Akbar, la ilaha illallah, Muhammad Rasulullah, Bismillah, Rahman, Rahim, Assalamu Alaikum, wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Ya Masjid Ibrahim, Subhanallah, what a beautiful masjid. Absolutely beautiful. Allah Akbar, look at this immense beauty. He got Ayatul Kursi written outside the masjid. MashaAllah, MashaAllah, this is really beautiful masjid. Allah Akbar, Allah Akbar, what a beautiful man. Where should I park? Look over here, inshallah. On the right. What an absolutely gorgeous masjid. SubhanAllah, you got Allah's names written outside the masjid. You got two minars and one dome. Assalamualaikum, brother Nakai, how are you? Yes, I'm outside in the parking lot. Are you here in the masjid? All right, I'm coming. All right, brother is here. Assalamualaikum. Oh, okay. I'm just here for today. Did you uh, come just for this? No, I'm actually uh, on a long trip. Oh, okay. Uh, Mom. So I'm going to California. And mm -hmm. So here I wanted to cover the massage here. Okay. okay. Yeah. So have you, what other messages you've gone to so far? I went to Utah. Uh, I came, started from Denver, mm -hmm. so Utah, and mm -hmm. now here. Are you going to any of the uh, massages in Vegas? I wanted to, uh, but uh, Nobody responded, so... This is the first masjid in North America that was sponsored, funded, built by a Muslim woman. And for all the Muslims around the world, I always welcome you to come to Las Vegas and look up to see where is the closest masjid that you can go do a Turikat Nafar, or that you can just go sit in the middle of the floor and look up the ceiling and see what has been bestowed upon us and the beauty of this city in a different perspective, in a better way of life. 
rather than just the lights. Because guess what? We have lights, but it's the light that shines from the heart. It's the light that comes from what we have been taught. That light is much more important. Is the nur, is the nur of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that have been bestowed upon us. And how do we make that shine? We come here, we take time, we spend some time with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala alone if we need to, so we can make ourselves a better human being. I humbly thank you for watching. When you're in town, look us up. Stop by the masjid. We'd love to have a cup of tea with you or a sip of water or even have a chance to break bread. We peace be with you. everybody I got some really really bad news I've been sitting here with the drone for an hour but unfortunately I can't take it off because the airport is really close by and unfortunately I'm not getting the authorization from the airport to fly this drone even for just 100 feet nope 100 meters nope that's just not happening as you can see you're getting this red line authorization oh, authorization zone and it says that class D cannot take off and it's been one hour I've been trying to do this but unfortunately we won't be able to take the drone shots of this beautiful masjid man masjid Ibrahim it's not fair man not fair at all I tried a lot but they just won't they just won't cooperate maybe in the future we will find out a way to do this but for now this is the first time we won't be getting a drone shot of a beautiful masjid like this we gotta keep moving using the three meter selfie stick <laughs> to get the drone shots. Yeah, let me get easy for us. And you cannot, you cannot imagine how disappointed I am not being able to take drone shots of this, the most beautiful masjid of Nevada. Because my God, it is a masterpiece, no doubt about it. But this North Las Vegas airport has destroyed our plans as beautiful as it is from the inside and outside it has beautiful people running it mashallah absolutely amazing they are lovers of god and lovers of islam mashallah may allah bless you brothers and sisters of masjid ibrahim we got the police on the motorcycle and he's speeding the speed limit is 65 and that cop going on 90 miles per hour we're in the strip now we take an exit 76b towards los angeles bismillah rahman rahim Back on I-15. Oh my God, there's a fire over there. And the traffic has already started, brothers and sisters. People don't even know where the lanes are anymore. Let's go, let's go. This truck is coming. People are going crazy here in Vegas. Speed limit 35 on the highway. Yep, only in Vegas. You got all of those casinos. Astaghfirullah, Astaghfirullah, right over there. Oh, something bad happened here, man. Astaghfirullah, Lazim. It seems to be a terrible accident. Oh my god. Death is never too far away. Especially here in Vegas. Traffic is bumper to bumper right now. That's the latest addition to the glitz and glamour. To the fitna of the city. They just keep making this dunya attractive and attractive. But you can't hide from the reality that the shaitan is upon us. Can't make this dunya attractive enough. Area 15? Man! <laughs> Come on. There's only one area. And that is not 1-5. That's 5-1. Allah, brother! Taking care of the injured here in Vegas. MashaAllah, he's got the beard and everything. No fee until we win. SubhanAllah. Fee sabi ya brother. <laughs> until we win. <laughs> Better call Nakuay. Because we gonna get on. The flamingo. The kabutar to the flamingo. Man, the mob, the Italian mafia made all of this back in the 50s and 60s. All this glitz and glamour came from haram money. Astaghfirullah. <laughs> May Allah protect us. What is going on, brothers? What is this place? What is all of this? I don't understand. What's going on over here? What is this, Brazil? My God, look at these hotels. The downtown of Vegas is hotels, not office. 
<laughs> not businesses. The business here is casinos. Massive church? Is it abandoned? Ladies and gentlemen, this is the masjid. Masjid at Tawheed. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Yeah, Masjid al Tawheed. Look at this. Welcome to Masjid Tawheed, one of the biggest masajid in the Las Vegas metro area and one of the most important ones too. The masjid is a safe haven for brothers and sisters from all backgrounds. The masjid has a maktab, which is a weekly program designated for ages 80 plus and focuses on giving children the ability to properly read the Quran. It is taught by Imam and Hafiz Shahriyar Khan and it's taught Monday to Thursday from 5 to 7 p.m. They also have the Amirana Weekend School, which is designed for younger children from ages 6 to 10 and teaches basic Islamic knowledge, Arabic alphabets and numbers, and Islamic stories and hadith. They teach that on Saturday and Sunday from 10 a.m. to 1.30 p.m. The Masjid also has reward classes, which teaches the reward brothers and sisters every Monday from 6.30 to 7.30. They accept adults and children of all ages and it is free to attend. They also have the beginners Tawheed classes every Tuesday and Thursdays from 6 to 7.30 p.m. And the Arabic classes from Tuesdays and Thursdays from 6 to 7.30. SubhanAllah, what a beautiful story, isn't it? They went out to buy a building and it turned out to be a masjid itself. SubhanAllah, ready made. Yes, may Allah have mercy. It looks pretty bad. Still, the ambulance and everybody is here. Caesar Palace! Astaghfirullah! Caesar's palace is in the grave, brothers. This ain't no palace. This is dunya. Allah Akbar, brothers and sisters, next stop. Masjid of Sabur. Imam Futin is waiting for us. My God, there's no city like this, isn't it? I don't think we've been to any other city like Vegas. Nevada. Oh my God, busy Nevada here. Oof, Masjid Sabur is requiring me to be sabir. But that's the thing, right? It's the masjid of the patient. And we need some sabr. You need sabr to live in this city. No doubt about it. And that's why the Muslimin here need to be sabir, need to be sabur. But to reach Masjid Sabur, the oldest masjid here in Las Vegas. And this is the masjid. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Yeah. Masjid al Sabur. Kabutar. MashaAllah, this bird is getting some shade in Masjid al Sabur. Back. How you doing, brother? Good to see you. Mashallah, I haven't seen some pigeons in a while. But this is the masjid, ladies and gentlemen. Man, I love the colors. It reminds me of Medina. SubhanAllah. Brother, Allah help you to make it to your destination, wherever you go Shalom. from here, I mean, and, and provide for you all your traveling rights. I mean, so so Khan, right? Yes, yeah, nah. Nice to meet you, nah. brother. Nice to meet you, too. Okay. So you go in, okay. there's double doors to the right, there's the restroom if you need to make a food. Okay. And Masala, Masala is right through the green door right there. Why, like yeah. Let me have a hug. Nah, nah, yes, sir. <laughs> you know nah. God bless you. <laughs> Suhail. Yes, sir. It's good to finally you, meet you. Uh, where are you traveling from? Denver. On the motorcycle? Yes. You did 15 hours on the motorcycle? No, I, I stayed over in Grand Junction, okay. Salt Lake City. Okay. Good, good, yes. good. That's yes. still a hefty ride, though. I'm uh, going to California and uh, inshallah the West Coast. And it's then uh, back home? You from Denver? Yes. Wow. Actually, I'm, I'm going to Alaska. <laughs> Are you? Yes, it's that uh, on motorcycle. On the motorcycle. Yes. Oh, you got it, and you're doing. Uh, yes. That's awesome. Awesome. Yes, I'm. Uh, you want to put on shoes? We'll go next door. Yes, we'll I'll get it. I'll get it. Sure. 2010. Yeah. Right. So you used to live in I Irving. I, I, I still was the imam here, but I stayed there for one year. The learning the dream program in Bayina. Dream program. Wow. That was like the first batch. That was the first batch. Yeah. One of the sheikhs that was living there at the time, his name was Sheikh Isa. So tell me about your initiative here. What are you doing? So, uh, yes, Imam. So I'm basically making, documenting the masajid okay. over the U.S. Uh, if I'm not wrong, I saw you in this documentary called The Muslim Road Trip. Um, right? Yes. Exactly. PBS did that. My wife, Nisa Saipola, at the time, she was, she was, yeah. Highlighted, you might say. She passed away a few months after that, too. In Allah, yeah. Allah bless. Yeah, COVID took her, and uh, yeah, about four months later, that was into it. And she, you know, what was strange is that she hated the mic. She never did interviews, but that one she did. So, uh, yeah, Allah always 
No, I, I do remember her. Yes. May Allah bless her. Yes. It was the highlight of the documentary. Yes, yes to uh, Mashallah. She was a special lady too. Um, yeah, Mashallah. 28 years of marriage, man. Mashallah. Alhamdulillah. You married? Yes, Imam. How long have you been married now? Uh, Alhamdulillah, it's been uh, almost seven years this year. Very good. Yes, Alhamdulillah. Two. Alhamdulillah. You got your agenda right in, in your home. Alhamdulillah. <laughs> so I was saying that uh, that got me inspired, that the documentary documentary. series. Yes. I was like, man, there should be more episodes. This is the end. How can this yes, be the end? Be the end. Yes. Yeah. You know, my dream was always my, in my life five was to rent an RV and go and uh, salute every mass did in the U.S. There's two rackets keep going. Two rackets keep going. Subhanallah. That's my dream. Inshallah. Yeah, it was ours, so now maybe I'll still try to do it. Inshallah. Inshallah. May Allah make it happen. Inshallah. Gang riddled neighborhood, drug riddled neighborhood, but the men of the masjid addressed it. We confronted it, right. blocked their business. Takes a lot of courage, Imam. We were young and wild and, and strong. <laughs> the light of Islam should outshine the light of the strips, and we've been making effort. All of the Muslims have. There are one, two, three, four masjids built from the ground up. Inshallah, yeah. that red is gonna become green. <laughs> this place being vulnerable for people to do fitna, it must require a lot of patience, sabr. Thus the name of the masjid, Masjid al sabr Muhammad Ali's daughter. She actually went on, I want to be a millionaire and donated some money. See? Oh, subhanAllah, we have yeah. Omar ibn Sa'id over yes. here. You see it, right? Absolutely. Yes. This is from the beginning. This masjid received a donation from Mike Tyson for 250000 Nisa Saifullah, she was my rock and my Khadija, actually. No, I appreciate your time, Imam. No problem, Absolutely. alhamdulillah. When are mm -hmm. you leaving? I'm just uh, going to go now to Kingman. You're uh, going to Kingman and you're going yeah. to get a hotel there? Yes. Good. Maybe yeah. I'll go further. Depending uh, Kingman, on. you don't mind riding on the bike either? How far is it? <laughs> Kingman, Kingman is an hour and a half. Okay. Yeah, so I'm, so then I should I'm stay there. Yeah, yeah, if you get to Kingman, stop. Yeah, I should probably you know, stay there. Yeah, and it is, uh, it's a real hour and a half. It's 90, 90 miles or so. Okay, now I should yeah. get going then. Yes, yes. and it is uh, Hoover Dam, around Hoover Dam. Yes, too. I want to take a look at that okay. as well. Yeah, so, so it's going to be a push in it to get to it. Okay. Okay? Yes, inshallah. All righty. Try to get the brothers there too. Yeah, yeah. if you catch somebody from Maghrib, or is, you Maghrib might Aisha. catch Aisha, you can catch somebody. So, nine o'clock, yes. you might catch. Okay. It's going to be pushing it though. Right. All right. All right, everybody. That was, mashallah, Masjid al Sabur. Can you believe it? What a historic and beautiful masjid with amazing people. All right, brothers and sisters, this is what's happening. We are almost at the end of the day. And unfortunately, I won't be able to go to Jamia Masjid, which is a very extremely beautiful masjid here. But we do not have time anymore. I need to go to Kingman, Arizona, which is still two hours away. And Maghrib is almost coming, right? So we got to move, move, move. Inshallah, there's Masjid Ibrahim we got to go to. Let's go, Inshallah. Hopefully, we can make it before or after, just after Maghrib. But may Allah make it easy for us. We can do this, Inshallah. Make us. See you later. I don't know, there's like four to six police cars. Let me go Vegas. Oh man, this guy, this guy is in the middle of the road. Oh my God, what is going on here, brother? All right, see you later, Vegas. Inshallah, till next time. Charger! Charge it up, baby. Let's go. Look at that beauty, brothers and sisters, as we say goodbye to the city of Vegas. You know, project the Muslim in here. They're doing some amazing work. Check this out, the Dodge. The Dodges are going crazy here in Vegas. Oh, yeah. Let's see what you got. Bismillah. Fiamanallah, yeah. Las of Vegas. This lady, <laughs> she looks dangerous. Man, there's something special about Las Vegas, I tell you. 
Something special about this city. I don't know what it is, but it ain't sin. <laughs> it's the people here, man. The Muslimin here are something else. Subhanallah, they are, they are special. Mashallah, they got a lot of tolerance which you need in a city of sin. And may Allah bless them, they are absolutely beautiful people. They got love of Islam in their hearts. It takes a lot of effort, brothers and sisters, to make dawah in the city like this and to help people come to Islam. So I salute them. I salute you, brothers and sisters. You are amazing. MashaAllah. We got spirituality on some next level. And MashaAllah, we got the mountains like these all around you. The zikr must be really extra beautiful. And the noor on your face is, is evident. May Allah bless you. I'll see you next time. Fiyaman Allah. My God. SubhanAllah. Man, Vegas is not what I was expecting. You know how much I love houses on the mountains. SubhanAllah. Absolutely beautiful. Gorgeous. SubhanAllah. This is the gas station? Allahu Akbar. That is massive. Man, I need to go to the gas station, brothers. Boulder City? Man, it's getting dark, man. Now I'm getting a little concerned. Maybe I should stay in Boulder. God, is that the Hoover Dam? Allahu Akbar! My God, that is beautiful, brothers and sisters. We need to get some gas first and then we'll decide if we should just keep going or if we should call it a night. Because, uh, yeah, it's going to be super dark. And I think it might be risky to keep going to Kingman. We might have to call it a night here. Brothers and sisters. Allahu Akbar. Look at that view though. Oh my God, man. The Nevada, man. So beautiful, bro. God, let me just stand up for this. Let me stand up for this barakah. Oof. La ilaha illallah Muhammad Rasulullah. Let's get some gas, inshallah. I think Kingman, we gotta cancel it. This is pushing it. Imam Fatin was right. It's gonna be pushing it. It's too dangerous out here. Yeah, there's no lights here on this highway. We have to call it a night. I have to cancel the plan today and we have to stay here in Boulder City. Let's get a hotel. Which hotels are here? Holiday Inn. Okay, yeah, let's get that. Let me get some gas real quick in this mess. Oh, the hotel is right there. MashaAllah, maybe Allah is giving us a sign that it's danger that way, although it's so beautiful. But yeah, railroad pass. What? Man, look at the amount of trucks in this place. Allahu Akbar, let's get this gas right here. Let's get gas. It's gonna be a long ride tomorrow, but yeah, I wanna stay alive for it. <laughs> okay. I don't even have food. I forgot. I totally forgot about eating food. Can you believe this, brothers and sisters? I need to get some food up in here. Man, I'm starving. <laughs> We've been so busy the whole day that... Yeah, let's let's look for some food, inshallah. The restaurants were too far away from here, so I decided to get this sandwich from this gas station. It has a veggie turkey. So let's check it out, inshallah, how it is. All right, everybody, as you could see, it got really, really dark, and I decided to stay here in Boulder City, Nevada. And now, inshallah, I'm gonna pray my Maghrib and Isha. This is the room that we have, very nice corner, mashallah, beautiful bed. It's a mess right now because I have to charge everything. Things are getting backed up over here. Things are getting backed up over here. Alhamdulillah, but everything else is getting charged, including the drone batteries. The propellers, another propeller is going. I don't know what's going on with the drone, but may Allah protect our drone, inshallah. Hopefully in the morning, inshallah, we can get to run. But right now, I'm just gonna pray and call it a night. So brothers and sisters, Fiyamun Allah from Nevada. Hopefully tomorrow we can enter Arizona and cover, inshallah, the amazing masajid, the amazing people over there. Good night and assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Fiyamun Allah. <laughs>